The focus for investigators, that terrifying nosedive off New Zealand that injured dozens. Passengers say the LATAM pilot claimed he suddenly lost control of the Boeing 787 when the flight data computers went dark. In 2016, the FAA issued an airworthiness directive for the 787, warning that if the flight control computers are not reset every 22 days, they could shut themselves down, which could result in flight controls that don't respond and a temporary loss of controllability. Investigators will look at whether the airplane was completely depowered at one point in the last three weeks. Meanwhile, two months since that mid-air MAX 9 emergency, sources close to the investigation say Boeing has failed 33 of 89 FAA audits. The FAA confirming it identified non-compliance issues in Boeing's manufacturing process control, parts handling and storage, and product control. If we see something that requires us to, to cease production or pull something down, we'll do that. In an email, Boeing's chief of commercial planes today called on every employee to precisely follow every step of our manufacturing procedures and processes. While in South Carolina, a coroner says former Boeing whistleblower John Barnett took his own life before his upcoming trial against the company. In 2019, Barnett told NBC News Boeing was putting profits ahead of safety. From day one, it's just all been about schedule and hurry up and just get it done, push the planes out. In a statement, Boeing says we are saddened by Mr. Barnett's passing and our thoughts are with his family and friends. Under intense scrutiny, the company today called on every employee to be on the lookout for safety or quality issues and speak up. Lester. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.